Welcome back. It has been two weeks since I did this. I had to skip a week because we had a big storm in Florida and we were out of school for two days. But anyways, for those of you that are new here, my name is Kristen Langford and I am a pre-K teacher in Florida. And this is a double weekly vlog. Okay, so I only have about five minutes. I'm gonna get through as much as I can and then I'll finish it up probably tomorrow. But the past two weeks, we have really been focusing on names. So I have a lot of name activities that I can share with you that we've done. Let's see what else. We did all about me theme last week, which was only a couple of days because we were out on Tuesday and Wednesday. So we had three day week. And then this week's theme is our five senses as well as colors and names. I feel like those are our main focuses. Ah, it's all blending together, but let me real quick show you a couple things, that way I don't run out of time before the kids come in. All right, I was gonna start with names, but you know we always gotta start with, it is September, so we have opened our apple orchard. It looks a little different than last year, but a lot of the same things. We have our opened and closed sign. We just handmade a buy one, get one free sign. We love the way that this storefront like looks it's a huge area too it just makes it really easy for an entrance and an exit we have our red green and yellow apples some of these we did spray paint last year so that's why some of the greens are a little different so sorting baskets we have some apple juice some money back there some apple cider we just literally wrote apple cider and put it on the cup then we got some apple pies we have our brown bags for shopping and I think there was a bowl supposed to be here for some applesauce, but it's not there. We have our pay hair sign. We just left out a couple aprons and a construction worker outfit for picking apples. We have our table that they can sit at to enjoy their apples. Um, this is an interactive board. So you can see there's Velcro on here. They can take the apple off of the Velcro and then sort it into the correct color buckets. These are just from the cafeteria and we just painted the front of them to sort. We also have a couple rakes and the leaves. The leaves they dump out then they can rake them all up. And then of course our cooking area to make the applesauce, some decorations, some flowers to set the table, and some plates. All of this stuff is in this area but they don't touch it which is amazing. They've already learned this is just extra storage for some of our center toys but it's not part of the apple orchard. And then finally we have our order form where they can check off the markers inside of there, what they want, and then do their little register. This is hilarious because they all think that this is not a scanner, they think it's a telephone. So that's definitely a teachable moment. All right, let's move on. Here's one of the name activities. This is a fine motor activity. They had to use Q-tips and just put little dots for their name. This is a font that I downloaded. This honestly took me forever to find the font. So if I remember, I will link it down below. The other fine motor activity is their names with stickers and I can show you some of those hung up. That's the Q-tip one. And the last one for Five Senses and All About Me and stuff like that are these little hairs. This was from last week, All About Me and Names but we didn't get to it because of the storm, so we just kept it. And they just used the beads to put onto the little hair. Walk over here real quick. Here's our Five Senses books that we're sharing. But this is next doors, and then these are some of ours that we are making. I just let them pick different types of stickers, but they're doing really good with it. Another name activity that we did, I'll link this down below too, it was a freebie. It's a little crayon box with their name, and then they have little letters so they had to build their name using the crayon box mix it up build it again mix it up build it again and then they mix it up and we tried to take the crayon box away to see if they could build it on their own and obviously they're helping with spelling it saying the letters out loud it's pretty differentiated my highest group clearly was able to do it my lowest group were probably not going to take the crayon box away because they need that support I'm really flying through some things there is a oh one more, let me show you. We read Chris Anthemum last week, and so this is the freebie Chris Anthemum flower. Actually, it might not have been free. I think my sweet mate gave it to me, so I'll see if I can find that. But they just, we put their name, how many letters, and then they made a flower. Those are going home today. Okay, and then another name activity we did was a crayon, and they had to color 
the pieces of their name and then we cut it and it's another puzzle that we sent home. So a ton of name building activities and you can already tell that they're really recognizing their name a lot. One more thing and then they're probably coming in. These are name cards from Pocket of Preschool and I just put their name on it and then I let them pick an animal that started with the same letter and their name and they got to color it. This kid was absent, so a teacher colored that one. This is more like it. Um, but anyways, we've been using these to do name games. We did Who Stole the Cookie from the Cookie Jar? So every kid has names flipped over, and then we flip it, and they had to raise their hand if that was theirs, and then they say, who, me? Couldn't be, then who? And then they flip theirs over, and so on and so forth. So that has really helped them with name recognition as well. Okay, they're probably gonna be here any minute. That's all for now. I will get back on here and talk about our small groups and our books that we've been reading and all of that. Hello! It is Monday. <laughs> I said I would get on and finish that week's video, but things got real hectic real fast, as per usual, and I just couldn't get it done. So. I'm just going to quickly go over the last couple of things for our double name week and all about me and five senses and all of that. That'll be the end of this video. And I'll update you on what we're doing this week coming up. For some of the books that we read, we read Chrysanthemum for two days and we've been pulling out, we've been doing some like interactive read aloud styles. So like on the first day, we're talking about book conventions like front cover back cover author illustrator spine we're doing some picture walks and then we're working on some vocabulary words so we're picking out like three or four words from the story we're making up motions for it and then we're just reading the story then on day two we're revisiting that same book and reading the story reviewing the vocab but then we're focusing on some comprehension questions to get them ready for some retelling um, obviously, Chrysanthemum is a very long book, so it's kind of hard to retell all the details. So we just focused on the character's emotions as retelling. Like in the beginning, she was very happy. Then she got sad. Why was she sad? Then she got happy again. What made her happy? Things like that. For Five Senses, we were going to do some Five Senses books during like our story week and stuff, but we decided to do it as an extra activity after lunch to go with Five Senses, like our read aloud time. And we did an activity for each of the senses. I don't have any of them because it's Monday. <laughs> so I'll just talk to you about them. Uh, one of them was for feel. We had like balloons. They were like the big bouncy balloons that you punch. And inside we put things that they could feel like beads and water. And so they had to feel it. And then we cut it open and saw what was inside. And then for hearing, my sweet mate next door has the Lakeshore they're like little tubes. If I can find them, I'll link them down below. I'm sure they're expensive. You can make it yourself with little shaker eggs. That's what I've done, but she had it done. And you like shake them and then you twist it open and it tells you what's inside. So they thought that was really cool. For a taste, we did something. This is new. It's also for my sweet mate. It's called rainbow toast. So it's just regular bread. And then you get containers of milk and you put food coloring in it, like the six colors, the rainbow. And they use a paintbrush and they paint the bread, mine was a rainbow, theirs was not. And then after they paint it, then they put it into the oven. For smell, we used glue and they traced their letter of their name, just the first letter, and we put on Kool-Aid and they had to smell it to see what it smelled like. So super simple, quick tasks, but they got through their five senses. Last week was also color week during math and we brought in color books for literacy as well. So we did a lot of color activities and small groups um, with the, you know, with the toys that we already have around. What color is this? We did like a I spy kind of thing. And then for the books we did Bear Sees Color, super cute book. We did Brown Bear, Brown Bear for one of the activities as well. There's so many like uh, Pete the Cat, I wear my school shoes, or Red shoes, blue shoes, white shoes, I don't even know. I love my white shoes, don't know. But he like goes into the different colors, you can do that one. I also have mouse paint because we did a mixing paint activity like this. So we just gave them some paint at the top. They did a red circle, a yellow circle, and a blue circle. And then we talked about making those predictions, what would happen, and then we gave them a little bit of red and a little bit of yellow, like in the orange spot down there. And we gave them a paintbrush. They had to take turns too, because 
you don't want to do this with everybody having a paintbrush all at the same time. It'll be a hot mess. So everybody had to wait their turn to get their paintbrush. They mix their orange and they gave it to the friend. They mixed it together to make orange and then we dried them. So they're going home today. I'm sure there's plenty of other things that I am missing, but that is the gist of it. We are starting assessments this week on the computer. Pre-K assessments on the computer, so fun. We are doing um, Star Renaissance, if any of you guys know of that one. It's not terrible, but I do a lot of extra assessments on the side too. And then my students who have IEPs, we are using Teaching Strategies Gold. So that's more of an observational type assessment, and so I'm doing some of that too. But anyways, that's it. Sorry it's a little late. I am working as hard as I can. I hope you're still enjoying them. If you like them, don't forget to click that like button, that subscribe button, and that notification bell because I'm not uploading every single week, so you definitely probably want to be notified. I will see you guys soon.